Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Let's dive straight into the content my friends because Bitcoin currently is breaking out out of this bull flag that we had early this morning. So my friends, we are headed now towards our next possible resistance zone up here at around $61,000 so towards our old all time high. And in my opinion, there is still a risk that maybe we could come once more down here to maybe retest this 54 to $55,000 area. But overall, we are definitely headed again towards to the upside. And of course, we're gonna see new all time highs very soon and a possible drop down towards 54 to $55,000 in my opinion is denied if we are able now to break out here to the upside through this resistance that we in theory have here at around $61,000. So this green trend line here is coming out from the previous support and now it could be acting as a new resistance. So the measured target of this bull flag is exactly up here at around $61,000. So if you, we do a conservative breakout target here, let's say from this uh, big pump that we have seen here, then we consolidated here in this bull flag that we can see here in the one hour time frame, the measured target here, let's say we're gonna break out here like we are doing right now, uh, would bring us exactly here at $61,000. So the target here, if you took this long opportunity is here at 61,000. Once we are reaching this level, make sure that you're locking in profits or at least take a little bit of profits out here and then put a stop loss in profits because here we still can get heavily rejected. Once we are above $61,000 and create new all time highs, then I think we're gonna see follow through to the upside and go towards our bullish targets between 75 to 100K. So the thing is that currently in the lower time frames we are still looking a bit exhausted and overbought. That's why I was expecting yesterday another retest of this 54, 55,000 dollars area before we then gear up here to test this 60K again and then hopefully also break to the upside. But since we got now already a confirmed buy signal again here already in overbought condition, I think there is a very high chance that we are going now towards the $61,000. And then maybe here, if we are getting rejected, we're gonna retest this area here for around 55, $54,000 before then we gear up here to new all time highs. But the breakout is happening right now, my friends. So if you are taking this long opportunity, congratulations. The target is here $61,000. And if we go here into the bigger time frames like the daily, uh, you can see that yesterday we closed above the 20 daily moving average. So if today we can close above the 20 daily, so above $56,650, we have confirmed then that we are back in an uptrend. You can also see that because of yesterday's dip down towards the nine daily moving average, and then also close the daily candle above the 20 daily moving average, we have now the nine moving average back into green here. So whenever this is turning into green and also remains green, that means that we are back in an uptrend and we should see here continuations to the upside. So if today we can close this candle above the 20 daily moving average and even better don't dip below this important moving average here of $56,650 then I think we're definitely headed here towards new all time highs and you should consider here latest at this point here to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible and also good for good long opportunities. If you are a bit too late now to open up a long then maybe scale in without leverage because like that even if we we drop down again towards 55,000 or 54,000 dollars then you can scale in your long position down to these levels because latest there then I'm expecting here big fireworks to the upside. So the daily time frame is looking again very bullish my friends we had a very bullish close yesterday let's hope that today we can remain above the 20 daily moving average and even better not even dip below this important moving average and you can see also here that this buy signal in daily time frame worked perfectly and now since we are out of the woods in theory since we are above the 20 daily moving average again I think uh, we should be now headed towards a new all-time highs. The only resistance that we could have is here this $61,000 to $62,000 or so this previous all-time high that we had. So everything is still looking bullish my friends here in the daily time frame and if we go over into the weekly time frame because yesterday I forgot to update here the moving averages 
And as you can see, the nine weekly moving average is right now here at $52,600. So I'm not expecting that we are going to test this $49,000 down here, this 0.618 Fibonacci retracement, because that would mean that we will a week below the nine weekly moving average. And so far during this bull run, we never went below this moving average. And that's why I don't think that we will uh, go below this moving average here and I think that all the CME gaps that we have below of us if here we're gonna create new all-time highs maybe one day we'll get filled maybe during the next the bear market or something like that or maybe with the next big sell-off or anything like that but at least for now maybe we will not come down to fill that CME gap at $54,000 we also have some other CME gaps below that price level and I think if they are getting filled maybe it will be um, with this next uh, bear market or bigger sell-off that one day anyway will come and that's why we don't have necessarily to come down right now to close that CME gap at $54,000 but of course most of the times uh, we are closing those CME gaps very very quickly and that's why I think if this week we are not closing this gap to $54,000 then uh, in my opinion, uh, this will not get filled or maybe with the with the next uh, bear market. And of course, also here, the 20 weekly moving average is right here, $38,400. You can see that these moving averages are increasing a lot here. And uh, that's why I'm still very bullish here for me to long term for Bitcoin. And for the short term, even though we could see maybe a, a cycle top very soon, uh, we're gonna also have a look into the cycle top indicator right now. Uh, I think that long term we are anyway looking very bullish and we should expect Bitcoin to go way above 100k but a bigger sell-off or a, a bear market even a small one is always in the cards when we are going so fast to the upside and that's why it's also good to take sometimes a little bit of profits out just to be able and flexible to buy the dip if at any day we are entering into a small bear market or we're gonna see a bigger sell-off that you're ready to buy the dip because if we would moonshot here straight towards 75 to 100k and the 20 weekly moving average remains here towards 40k we still can get a 50 percent drop down to the 20 weekly moving average maybe consolidate here again and then gear up towards way higher levels above 100k and therefore let's go now over into the indicator here the cycle top indicator where is it here all right, you can see that this moving average here is coming very, very aggressively down here towards the price action. And whenever this moving average here is crossing the actual price action, usually this signals a cycle top. And you can see that it's not anymore that far away. It's right here at around $220,000. And every day it's declining down around $20,000. So it will not take much time here anymore until we are crossing here the price action and then and of course we have to update where we are with the price and uh, think about to maybe take a bit of profits out because usually this indicator worked very very well in the past it doesn't mean that it will work also this time and it also doesn't mean that it will exactly tell you when to sell because in the past we also had once when it signaled the top but then we had a hundred percent increase in price so that doesn't mean that we have necessarily to sell everything at that point but at least take out some profits once we are getting here a cycle top signal and here in 2017 you can see that this indicator exactly signaled the top here so if you took out profits here you would have sold at the top and that's why in my opinion it's not a bad idea at least to take a little bit of profits once we're getting another signal like that but that of course doesn't mean that afterwards we are not going higher it is possible that bitcoin even does a hundred percent gain after that signal is flashing so take this indicator with a grain of salt my friends but of course it's very helpful at least to estimate where we should start to take a little bit of profits out and also don't forget that the stock to flow model price predicts that we will go way above 100k and create a base towards 100k so in my opinion everything below 100k it's a bit risky to take out profits but of course uh, 100k is like a psychological uh, price level where I think most uh, of uh, the people that uh, had invested in Bitcoin in this last couple of years will take out a little bit of profits at least in my opinion and uh, just to be ready to buy the dip if somewhere we're gonna see a sell-off and here in 2013 you can see that the second time that this signal flashed 
Also here, we exactly nailed it with this indicator. We exactly came here right at the top and then uh, it was flashing. So here, if you took out profits, you would have done very well and you could have uh, accumulated enough Bitcoin during the next bear market. And in the same year, we had here another cycle top a bit an early one afterwards we crashed down to the 200 daily moving average then accumulated again and afterwards we started another big pump here and i'm expecting something similar maybe to happen for this cycle as well and here you can see that this signal flashed at 140 dollars and afterwards we went up towards 260 dollars so this is almost a 100 percent gain after this signal was flashing and that's why my friends you shouldn't just sell everything because of this indicator it's okay to take a little bit of profits out but if you you would have sold a little bit between 140 to 200 you could have accumulated again more bitcoin after this bear market towards the 200 daily moving average at around 70 dollars and then of course ride it up again for the next big pump here so what i want to show you here is just that this indicator of course is a good estimation where we could be heading to and also when to take a little bit of profits out but just don't sell everything because of this indicator my friends of course it's good to take out some profits once it's flashing but don't sell everything because anyway bitcoin will go to way higher levels and in my opinion if you're taking out profits it's just because to be ready and have some cash on the sideline if somewhere we're gonna have a big sell-off to accumulate more bitcoin and now let's go over to ethereum because ethereum is also looking very bullish my friends currently we are also here creating a bull flag actually we are also breaking out here to the upside also here in the one hour time frame we had here this uh, bull flag and already now we are breaking out and if here we're gonna measure the possible target of this breakout i think this could take us very close to the old all-time high here of around two thousand dollars so it is possible that maybe this week we're gonna see new all-time highs here for ethereum and uh, usually when ethereum is having new all-time highs we always see big follow-through and that's why i'm also still very very bullish for ethereum i'm also still accumulating more ethereum and of course still mining ethereum as long it is possible so also here in ethereum in my opinion we're gonna see follow through to the upside towards new all-time highs similar like we are seeing here in bitcoin probably within the next coming days so this breakout that we are seeing right now is very bullish my friends and this confirms uh, us even more that we are not yet at the top big fireworks to the upside will come here very very soon and we can also have a look into the dxy here at the end of this video because the dxy continues to pump here so far there are no signs that we will drop a little bit down here so here we're gonna see most likely continuation to the upside money flow is still positive but as soon as here we're getting a sell signal in the daily time frame i'm pretty sure that we're gonna drop here towards the 200 daily moving average maybe even down towards 20 daily here between 92 dollars and 92 dollars and 50 cents to confirm this as a support and if we confirm it then we're gonna see follow through to the upside which of course is dangerous for us it's dangerous for the crypto and stock market but that doesn't mean that we have to crash it's just a warning sign that if the dxy is able here to have big pumps to the upside and go back in a bull market that eventually in the stock and crypto market we should face very soon a huge correction and afterwards we have to see of course uh, when and where we recover again and when also the dxy is turning back into a bear market because usually when the dxy is in a bear market this always favors a lot the crypto and stock market and speaking about stock market let's go to nasdaq uh, nasdaq is still here above the 20 daily moving average that is okay but we're still not out of, out of the woods yet there is still a high risk that here we could fall off the cliffs if we lose this support here at $12,800. Then in my opinion, we could easily drop down towards the 200 daily moving average and test it here at around $12,000. But since we have now a confirmed buy signal here, I think we have the chance to see big follow through to the upside towards this all time high that we had at around $14,000. Once this resistance here is broken right at 
dollars but there are still some warning signs in my opinion we are not completely out of the woods yet if you're watching here nasdaq then wait until we're gonna break out here to the upside from this thirteen thousand dollars resistance because we are still in a very critical point we are also not breaking out from any resistance right now and also the rsi is still getting rejected from the 50 level here so we still have some warning signs but I'm still leaning more to the bullish side that here on Nasdaq we're gonna see very, very soon all the continuation to the upside. And that could be very much in favor also for the Bitcoin price. All right, my friends. So before we're gonna wrap this up, just a reminder that we still have this Femex competition going on. And also if you are too late to trade on this competition, there is one starting here on a Bybit. So this is a seven day uh, challenge and it's an individual competition. So it's not team based here. Everyone that is anyway trading on Bybit can just easily register here. You find all the links to sign up here in the description right at the top and here you can win up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars so definitely register to this it's completely for free and if you're anyway trading here on bybit then like this you have the chance to win even more money of course if you are successful so if you need any kind of link to sign up to femex bybit and of course order to this competition then use all the links that you find down below here in the description because with my links you will get some extra bonus and also support the channel and if you don't want to trade yourself with leverage but you want to do some passive gains then make sure that you try out prime xpt because here we have a unique co-vesting feature where you can copy trade other successful traders so definitely sign up also to prime xpt if you want to try out the special feature and for everyone that is new in the crypto space make sure that you open up an account over on Binance, Swissborg and also Coinbase those are the exchanges that I'm also using to buy cryptos with fiat and also to do flip trades because on these exchanges you can convert your Bitcoin and altcoins to whatever you want especially here on Binance here it is very easy to convert all altcoins that you have back into Bitcoin or also into fiat so make sure that you have an account on all of those exchanges with my links down below here you will get also some extra money with your first purchase and on Binance we can also stake coins there so if you have a lot of altcoin bags or a lot of Bitcoin and you want to earn some interests on it then on Binance you can do that because here we have a earn feature where you can just stake your coins there and you get daily paid with interest so definitely go and check this out over on Binance the link is down below here in the description so thank you again very much for all your support my friends and also a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join us here in discord then make sure to use the official link that you find also in the description here once you have clicked this invitation link you have to go up here to read first and then click here on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot like this you have free access to the trading chat and here you can also get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. If you want that then a little donation is needed. You can contact me here directly on Discord with a private message or you can do here a subscription directly on YouTube like this. You also have free access to this indicator. So thank you again very much for watching my friends. Make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.